Hello everyone, this is Suresh. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to automate the patch API using a REST assured. In the last session, we have seen get post put API automation using a REST assured, right? So in this session, we will discuss on the patch. And before we begin, we need to see what is a patch API. So patch API is used to make the changes to the part of a resource at a particular location. And it is a minor change that we are going to do on a resource. So generally, if you take an example of payload, in the payload, we are sending employee details and that employee details will be created using a post. And later we need to see all the request with the response against it. And the response you will see a uh, unique ID will be created and the email and everything, those details are being updated. So later I wanted to do some domain changes like email domain I wanted to change of a particular uh, resource. So in that situation, we can rely on this patch API where patch API will allow us to do a manual changes to our payload or resources. So it is as simple as and similar as put API. So everything will be same. So what we have seen in the last session, like how we automated entire put API right? in the similar manner we need to do on the patch API also. And this will accept the URL and which requires a request body. And let me show you an example in the postman also. So this is a postman tool and this is a URL that we have in place. And this is the type is a patch. And this is a request body that I'm going to do a send here, which is a name and the job in the job. I'm going to change this engineer uh, as an appended to uh, is it. So once you send this request, you will see the response coming up, which is an updated yet. So it is as similar as a port API this is where it is doing updates and which is a minor update that is going to do. Okay, let's jump into our Eclipse ID and do the automation using a REST assured. So this is the last session that we have discussed. So let me create a new class again here or I can use the same uh, location here uh, by adding some enable to this enable equal to false. So this will not execute for now, right? And let me create a new method. here. So this is a test ng, right? So we need to take assertion uh, annotation which is a test ng and public void patch patch automation and this is the body that we are created and quickly let's create a rest assured class call the rest assured class and send the base URI right so base URI and base URI is a string type so I can capture I can take the base URI from here Right. So this is a base URI that I'm going to send. And then after we need a request specification. The request specification is an interface, right? So which is used to manage our request body and all the methods available in our request specifications. We need to create a reference it and using a REST assured class dot given. So this command allows us to do all these operations in the request specification and uh, we are sending a json body right so this is a body that we are going to pass this is a json body so for that we need to call a json object so json object so we need to create a reference for it json object object obj equal to new json right we need to call the new json object and using this JSON object, we are going to send the updates, right? So let me copy the same code from here. So this is a code that will allow us to do. And once you hit this JSON object, right? So JSON object, using a JSON object reference, you can put the details. You can put the details and that details are the same. Right? So this is a detail that I'm going to enter. And then after I'm going to use the another job id so the job detail that i am going to send right so that will be object and that is i am going to add engineer okay this is a patch that i wanted to send to my database and using a request specification i will be setting up my headers as well so headers and my header is content type content type and my content type is in json application json so that should be passed as an application hyphen json so in the form of string 
in case if you are using XML you can pass XML and HTTP yes I need to pass the body also right so body I need to set the body also using an object JSON object dot to JSON string so that I need to pass here and then after I need to call my re response interface so using a response interface I will get control of entire my response using this re response interface I will be setting my method that I'm going to pass using a request specification so using a request specification dot request so I know I need, I need to send my request right in the method of so my method dot dot patch and I need to send my the endpoint endpoint reference to this is my endpoint so this I need to pass here as a string parameter right and end with semicolon and after that so once we have this we need to capture our entire response so to capture entire response I need to use a string and I need to capture the response body so this is my response body using a response interface reference so response interface I need to get the body get body as a string as a string we need to take and that will be stored in our report or I can put it in our console also my response is and I can put this in a new line also I can put this new line and append my response body here so this is a response body so append here so this will print my response body in case if you wanted to add assertions like status code status line so you can use that hint uh, status code because status code is in the 200 okay status code equal to using a response interface reference we can capture that status get status code right so this will get my status code and i can put in the assertion like asset which is offered by test ng again so using uh, and asset equals so asset asset equals I need to use asset equals which is an integer type right so this is a one I need to use and 200 so in case if you want to handle this status line also using the same command response dot status line you can pass you will get it and let me copy it from here right copy it from my previous session so this is the status code and that will be http yes dot one dot one two hundred uh, okay so this will be a status line so this is all we need to pass or we need to send in our request so we have a request specification uh, json body headers body and a method as a patch and it is almost similar to a put api request so let's quickly save and right click and run as test ng test it is running now yeah, now you can see it has ran correctly and you can see my response is coming up so response is uh, Suresh and the job is SJ engineer and you can see updated ad details also here and my one of the session got failed because I'm using I'm using this HTTPS but where it is an HTTP so I use one extra character which is an HTTP so if I use this accurately here right let me copy my status code and let me see okay is in small case or upper case yeah upper case so let's quickly save and run one more time to show you the assertions are working correctly right it has now worked correctly and everything got passed and you can see response coming up so this is how we automate the patch api i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe and do like share comment there are more to come in a queue thank you Thank you.